Well, hello everybody. Happy Monday. It is a gorgeous day here in Chesapeake, Virginia. And um, my name is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com. And I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful card today. It's using the new Expressions in Ink Suite from Stampin' Up! or um, the bundle is called Artistically Inked. I know it's confusing sometimes because everything's a different name, but the stamp set and the die are called Artistically Inked. The suite with everything is Expressions in Ink. And we're gonna be using the paper, which is also called Expre Expressions in Ink. I'll try to say that three times real fast. <laughs> and the stamp set. I'm not using the dies today, but we are using one of the punches, which is my favorite punch, the rectangle postage stamp punch. Let me get my computer going, make sure I'm live. Here we go, yay, I'm on the screen. Okay, so this is the card we're making, and you can see that gorgeous paper. I showed um, a video a couple days ago with this paper on a different card that was kind of similar colors because I used the same paper, but this is a totally different way of using it. And I'm gonna show you that paper again because it is so beautiful. I just can't even take it. It's like my favorite paper they've ever had in my entire life. And I've been a demonstrator for 20 years and this is my favorite paper. Um, okay, so the suite that we're using is on page 96 and 97. If you have your Stampin' Up! catalog. Hey, Deborah. Um, if you don't have a catalog, you can let me know. I would love to be your demonstrator and you can order from me and I will send you one. And um, so you've got the whole suite here for $75. That includes the stamp set, the dies, the paper, and this ephemera pack, which is like the gold um, pieces and the gems. And the paper is, they just don't really even show it hardly in here. Um, I think on the paper page there is this but you really can't tell from this. You can see I wrote love <laughs> on it, but I'm gonna show you the real thing. So um, I showed it on the video the other day, but in person, it's just so much prettier. This is actually a little bit more than a pack because I used pieces, almost all of one pack already. So I kind of just threw these little pieces in here. So this is the piece we're using today, which is absolutely beautiful. This is probably my favorite piece in the pack. And then the back is this, which is that kind of looks like that alcohol and um, stamp and blend technique that everybody's been doing. And I have a couple videos with that too. This is the next one, which is also beautiful. And it's got all the gold leafing in there. That's the back. Then this is the next one. One piece of each has gold. And I mean, one side of each has gold. And the other one is just the like uh, watercolor stamp and blends alcohol kind of thing. And this is the piece that has the gold in it. And then here's some stripes. That's got the gold. And this is just the kind of splattery look. This one is so pretty. I just love it. And I made a couple cards with this one too. I've got so many cards that I've made this week. It's not even funny. And I don't have time to do the videos fast enough. <laughs> and I've got a stampy class tonight at 7. So I have to hurry up and do this one quick. And that's that same piece and I cut this I cut this one this way and then cut it in pieces this way so I got eight out of a sheet and uh, I'm gonna show you that card probably in a couple days maybe and then I just did a card with this one at my meeting last night which was really cute and that's the back of that one all right so that's pretty much it as you can see they are beautiful all right so this is the punch we're using. This the rectangle postage stamp punch. So what you're gonna do is take your supplies and we've got a piece of the paper. So this is just a scrap that I've got left of the DSP, which is designer series paper of the expressions in ink. And then you need a piece of white, which is five and a half by eight and a half. And I've got it folded in half. A piece of five and a quarter by four pale papaya. And I love that color. A piece of five by three and three quarters magenta madness. Hey, Tanya. Or is it Tanya or Tanya? And a piece of two and one eighth by four and a half. And a piece of one half inch by three. So this is what you need for your supplies. If you want to take a screenshot of that. And then we'll get started. All right. <laughs> Somebody said, you must go through like a billion post-its and I said I have a billion somebody gave me like a whole box and I'm not kidding it's like a box like this and about maybe four inches deep full of little post-it notes so I have 
more than enough to get me through the next 10 years probably. All right, so what you're gonna do is punch out three rectangles from this paper. And it doesn't matter if they're in order or not. I, I just punched out a whole pile of them for my class so they weren't together. But if you wanna get them in order, just punch out three in a row like that. And you wanna get them as close as you can together so you don't waste any of this paper because I'm telling you, it, you don't wanna waste one single teeny bit. Oh, I forgot the ribbon. We've also got ribbon piece seven inches. Uh, that's pale papaya ribbon. All right, so if you want these to be in the right order, which I don't even know if I can get them back the way they were. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a good puzzle doer too. Okay, those two go together. Let's see, this one goes there. So that's where they go. All right, so if you wanna put them like that, you can. If not, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. Like these two were together, but this one's totally separate, so. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is stamp on this one. And I'm gonna put a little scrap paper under here. And we're gonna be using Magenta Madness. And this is Magenta Madness paper. And you're just gonna ink this up. This is one of my favorite stamps in this stamp set. It's just a blob, but it makes a really, really pretty background. So stamp it on there. See how that just makes just a watercolor look? And then do another one, another one. I hope I'm not shaking this camera. And so you need one all the way around and then I'm just gonna stick one right here because my paper doesn't go quite low enough to cover that. And then I got a little bare spot there. Okay, so that's that. And that's almost all the stamping you have to do except for the words. So then we've got our words and they go in the Just Jade. I was just out mowing the grass and then, you know, I had my whole day planned out and then um, I got a call from my tax lady. My taxes were done a couple weeks ago, but then there was one thing that I forgot, so she had to redo them. And so she just called today and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I said, I really don't have time to come get them. And she's like, well, you have to sign them and everything because there's only a few days left. So I went all the way over there, which is about 30 minutes from my house, and that threw off my whole day. So then I ran home, had to mow the grass, and then I had bought some plants that I needed to plant, and uh, then I had to water the yard, and because I just planted grass seed, you know, like a week ago, and it has hardly rained, so it's not coming up very good. So I'm just doing an arrow in here at the end. So by the time I finished that, it was like 4.30. Then I had to grab something to eat because I hadn't had lunch yet. And I made this shrimp. I had <laughs> I was cleaning my freezer out because I told you the strawberry. Um, oh, so it is, it's Tanya? Okay. Um, you love the card? Thank you so much. So I told you guys about my strawberry thing and then I made strawberry jam. So it's freezer jam, so you have to have room in your freezer. So I was cleaning my freezer out and I found this giant bag of shrimp in there, which had been there in there probably like seven months, but it still wasn't past the date. So I said, okay, it must still be good. So I said, I'm just gonna let it thaw out and eat it. And it was a little bit freezer burned, but I thought it was okay. And uh, I had that for dinner and it was pretty good, but I'm hoping it was not bad <laughs> or else I might be sick. <laughs> but I don't have my taste and smell all the way back. So I couldn't tell if it was I mean, it looked, still looked okay, so hopefully I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so you're just gonna put the pale papaya piece on your white, and then we're gonna put the little pieces that we punched out on our Just Jade. And they're about an eighth of an inch um, apart, and have, you have that edge about an eighth of an inch all the way around. And hopefully I'll get these in the right order again. If not, it's no big deal. You don't have to have them in the same pattern or from the same side. Okay, and last one. And I hate to even glue that back down because it's so pretty. Oops, upside down. Well, I don't even know if that's right. <laughs> I don't think that's right either. <laughs> yeah, that's right, okay. See, it does not matter. If you, if you don't wanna line them up, it is no big deal. Cause I have, I have another one in here somewhere that's totally not lined up. Here you go, here's another one. So that one's totally not lined up at all. 
and this one isn't really either except those two and every single one you do is going to look different so it's not a big deal if they don't come out the same all right we're going to put some dimensionals on here oh so i didn't finish my story so i ate dinner then i like jumped in the shower real quick and i'm like okay i got like an hour because you know when i have class at seven i have to be ready by 6 30 because a lot of people come early because they just want to talk or visit or whatever so i got to get dressed so i'm still in my <laughs> little after shower thing i haven't done my makeup i haven't done my hair but i wanted to get this video done real fast <laughs> and then i can go do that so i gotta hurry up can't get this dimensional off but the good news is my taxes when she redid them i was gonna have to pay two thousand dollars now i'm only gonna have to pay uh twelve hundred dollars so that's a savings of $800, which is a lot better. I wish I didn't have to pay anything. I wish I was getting a big refund, but you got to do what you got to do. All right. So there we go. So I put that on with dimensionals. Then I'm just going to wrap this around and tape it to the back. And I'm going to use the other tape, this nail. And yes, this is retired, but you know, it went on clearance last year and I bought about a hundred so I'm going to be having this forever. <laughs> All right. So there's our ribbon. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to glue this on. I'm going to put a little bit on that ribbon too so it doesn't come off. And then put that on the front. And we're almost done. Okay. Then we're going to put this on with uh, dimensionals. And you can see I like to cut mine in half because I like, I use so many dimensionals. I go through probably at least... A couple packs a week especially if I'm having class because some of my customers I love them to death but they want to put a dimension on like on this piece there would be like 10 or 12 whole ones <laughs> and they always joke because I'm like you don't need that many <laughs> and I know they're like really cheap but you know I hate to waste stuff okay so there's the happy birthday then we're gonna go in with the ribbon and I like to do this part just leave it on the roll and just slide it underneath here and tie a little knot and kind of hold the ends while you do that and then just trim it up a little bit and if you'd like sometimes I just put a little glue dot right under the, the where the knot is so I'll just get a little glue dot in my take your pick tool and stick one right under there and that'll hold the ribbon down in the front oh I just stabbed myself <laughs> okay all right so oh we forgot something we have pearls too so what I did was I took the new pale papaya or this is dark dark pale papaya <laughs> that kind of seems like an oxymoron dark pale papaya <laughs> it wouldn't be dark and pale at the same time but that's what it is all right so what I did was I colored these pearls so I don't know if you can see them that's the plain ones that's the ones with the stamp and blend so you just take the fat end of it and just go like that and it just colors them in half a second and then I'm gonna put one of those on each of the rectangles let me get my take your pick tool so they don't fall all over the place oops I still lost it there we go. <laughs> I got a dimensional on here all right, so we're going to put that. <laughs> oh my gosh. We want to put it not on top of the pale papaya because you want it to show up. So we're going to put it like on the darker areas where the green or the pink is. And we'll just put it right on the pink one. Oops, right here. So there you go. And we are all done so what do you guys think is that just beautiful i just love it i think this is so pretty i did this for my swap for our meeting last night and everybody was like flipping out over it and i actually won we have a little prize you know that everybody chooses the winner and i won the prize and i was so excited um because i think we have a lot of good demonstrators in our group so it was hard to win but i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you thank you and um, don't forget if you want to order anything just go right here stampingwithlisa.com to my website here's the host code i know it's hard to read that's a z then k it's on my website so you'll see it um, and also don't forget if you're on youtube make sure you subscribe 
to my um, YouTube channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time I do a video. And make sure you leave a comment because I always give away the cards that I make on the video. So if you would like to win this card, leave me a comment and I will pick a winner from all the comments. Hey Karen, thank you. And um, hey Deborah, thank you so much. It is easy, this is a really easy card. And you know what, you can use this um, template with any designer paper. If you look back in my videos, I have another one almost exactly like this that I did with a hydrangea paper. And it was almost exactly the same. That's actually where I got the idea. I was going back through my videos. I was like, oh, I need to take the new paper and do that. So the postage stamp really makes a pretty card. Just punch out the paper and it's so easy. Thanks, Sherry. All right, so you guys have a great night. Don't forget, leave a comment if you wanna be entered in the drawing to win this. And I'm gonna have a new contest starting in about a week where you can win a really good prize for leaving a comment. It's gonna be like blog candy, except it's gonna be YouTube candy. So I'll have more details about that on my next video. So stay tuned for that, make sure you tune in. It'll probably be tomorrow or the next day. And have a great night and a great week, and I will see you soon, bye-bye.